Political issues, as many know, have not been a high point of interest for many young people. Topics such as the war in Iraq, abortion, gay marriage, legalization of marijuana, female and minority presidential nominees, and many others have inspired the younger generation to become proactive in politics. Here at Temple University, we ask students what they think about the proactive and non-active stance of young people in the political spectrum. Um, to be honest with you, all of those topics are hot topics and they all deal with individuals' rights. So I don't know if I could narrow it down. Um, you know, women being president, it gives the women's rights. The um, legalization of marijuana, it's different rights there. So really it's just about everyone, you know, men, women, um, gays, lesbians, just individual rights. So I think, I mean, it goes back to the civil rights period of 1964. Um, and yeah, I just, I really think all four of them would be. Do, do you think that it's topics like this that when we have such a conservative administration in the White House, that it's kind of cyclical, like it eventually is going to make its way back to where we were in the 60s with all these individual rights issues? Definitely. I mean, I think that these issues definitely, you know, keep coming up, but just modernize their, with their time. I don't know, I didn't vote, and I'm totally eligible to vote, but I'm not even registered yet. Do you think it's an important issue for young people to vote to get the word out, or do you think it's just not worth it? I think it's incredibly important, and it's your duty as an American, and I think they're all just really lazy and ignorant. I think that a lot of people just see that there's going to be no changes, so that's why they're not voting, and every year is the same thing. And they just really don't care who is in charge and who's not because they're all saying the same thing over and over again. So it's really not making a difference. And that's why I think um, a lot of people are not voting. I mean, do you think those are going to be important issues for the upcoming, you know, couple months and years? I have no idea, but given the childish nature of the media, probably. I doubt they're going to focus on actual issues. So. Like, the minimum wage or, or ending the war. Uh, do you th that, that issue, ending the war, do you think that's, that's you said they're not, they're not probably not going to focus on that, do you? I'm not, I'm not saying they're not, I'm just, if you brought up the idea of issues, I know that the, the Speaker of the House said that within the first hundred hours she wants to try and raise the minimum wage to 725, she wants to try and create a veto-proof bill for stem cell research, and her plan is to implement all the resolutions of the 9-11 committee and find some way to resolve what's going on in Iraq. So I don't, in theory, it should actually do something, but theory is just a lot of talk, so who knows? But um, I feel like, like legalization of marijuana is not an important issue at the moment. And um, if they do try to address that, I think um, it's, it's kind of foolish actually, because there's a lot of important issues at the moment that require a little more attention than that. and. If they're doing it only to um, attract young people's attention and get them interested in politics, they're, they're merely procrastinating. I think, like I said, it's foolish. I think it's absolutely important to, to vote because, um, as has already been stated, I'm sure, uh, that it's your duty to do so. And it's the one way you can actually get your opinion counted. I think a lot of people, young people are discouraged by the bipartisan um, how to vote, you have to vote for either one or the other, either Republican or Democrat. And uh, a lot of people don't vote the Independent or Green Party or any of the other, any of the other smaller because they feel like they're wasting their vote. I will start voting when I when I see more like moderate libertarian kind of people in, in the office. I feel like it's very young and hip to be liberal, you know, and and and, and it kind of just poses as as a fad to me more than anything. And, and then of course like. I don't know if, if you're older and have a lot of money. It, it just seems like that that's like more of the you know Republican stereotype. Um, and frankly, I, I don't I don't think it's I don't think it's been getting getting us anywhere. Extremist kind of views just turns me off, and and I feel like like th there there's a drastic difference between you know um, age and and class and what the. View